Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support. Um, never give up on your dreams and never give up on the things you're trying so hardly to achieve in your life because darkness really wants that right now. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback on the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one or a friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support that you've been giving me. It's greatly appreciated, and I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today my video is about, uh, I mean, my meditation music I'm listening to is Most Powerful Third Eye Penal Gland Activation Now, Secrets of the Third Eye Meditation Music. And I will post that link in the description box below. If you feel like an uplifting feeling like you're floating on cloud nine, this video has had me, uh, meditation has been having me feel very euphoric like I've been smoking. I'm just like, oh gosh, I feel high. <laughs> And I don't know where it came from, and all of a sudden, uh, it, it didn't happen until I put this meditation on. So if you're feeling like you're floating on cloud nine, that's the reason. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. You will, hail because you will be the person that breaks the cycles. You are. I mean, there are so many love bugs that I've been talking to lately. Everybody seems like they're under attack like if it's not happening in the inner circle I'm, I mean I'm having it as well and it's just like I have to keep pushing and I'm just like what the heck is going on it feels like a hailstorm going through my life and it just seems like nothing seems to give it, it's like one thing after another after another after another and you have to understand since we are that generation is breaking this karmatic cycle the generational curse you are getting hit with it hard so if you are being picked on you feel like oh my god people keep coming at me I keep getting attacked i'm getting outcasted i'm doing this i'm doing that you're on the right path keep doing what you need to do don't lose focus keep going even though it might be hard you say your little kumbaya yas meditate scream holler go off to the wall like you you know like you cussing a person out if you feel like that's what you need to do but don't lose focus on the things that you you are trying so hard to aim for because it this is what it wants it wants you to give up it wants you to say the hell with it you win no don't do that <laughs> do not do that that is what it wants you to do because it's like everybody i seem to be talking to lately they're like rosalyn i'm going through this i'm having issues with my loved ones or you know there's somebody sick in my family they're trying to attack you to the closest thing that you hold dear to you they are i'm going through it with my family as well so it's just like you know i I, I take my breaks. I do what I need to do. I meditate. I pray. You know, stay hopeful. Keep my faith up no matter what. Because especially if your faith, if darkness knows that your faith is shaky, it will put things in the midst of you to make you question everything that you ever wanted or even life itself. Like, why am I going through this? I give up. You know, these type of thoughts and, you know, sayings will go through your head. But it's just the fact is with you being able to break this cycle, it might seem like it's gonna drive you nuts but it'll be well worth it after the end it was like well Rosalind, I'm, uh, you know your elevator ain't going all the way through the 13th floor your radio ain't quite tuned up a little bit because it don't really rattle you in the ways that you really it really makes you feel like you're about to lose your last mind and it's really and i mean it's, it's like a dog i keep talking to people and i'm just like you know Rosalind, are you not mad at me it's just like certain times when i'm trying to send meditation music uh, to people especially if I feel your energy like feeling like you know what you need to relax and listen to this music allow the meditation to take you where to take you towards the journey that you truly need to go to 
it's not allowing my my messages to even go through it keeps on saying error try again later error try again later but it allow certain people to get it but it's like it seemed like the people who really needs it most it won't allow it to go through and i'm just like you know what bump that there's always a way around something there's always a way around something. I'm going to find out. And I'm going to send it. You know, because people will be texting me and I'll text. And they'll say, error not, you know, I'm not able to send right now. It's just all crazy. It's just like, you know, I'm not going to lose focus. I said, shoot. I start texting people. I don't know how I can be able to send. I think I have, if I do it, I have to be able to uh, copy the link on my computer and just send it towards uh the person whoever I'm messaging that I message on um, Facebook uh, messenger but you know it's just been really crazy it's like when I feel myself being aggravated usually if I'm mad at somebody it takes me a few days not to be mad now it's just like if somebody aggravates me and it really ticks me off I'm just like I'm over it <laughs> I'm like I'm over it I said what I had to say and I'm so over it because it's like it takes too much energy to be mad at somebody especially I mean if it's something that they did whatever you know if it's something that's very unconceivable or unforgivable hey you gonna get yours anyway <laughs> you might be in the midst of doing something for hateful reasons or petty reasons it's gonna come back to that person anyway ten times fold just because the fact is they tried you like that so I'm just like you know what God God be with you I hope God gives you whatever you deserve, blessings that you deserve. And that's why I leave it at and just keep it going. So it's just like, you know, because darkness wants you to stay petty. Darkness wants you to stay mad to the point where, you you know, you can't allow things. Because if you stay mad and you stay angry, that's, that's, that's taking your power and giving it to that person who did it in the first place. You know, I, I like I said, I have people trying me off uh, YouTube all the time. If they're not taking my subscribers away, they got somebody giving me a thumbs down or somebody will send me an ignorant uh, comment or whatever. I'm just like, you know, if you feel some type of way about my channel or whatever, the things that I'm pushing out, all you got to do is unsubscribe me or just keep on going. There are certain people I don't agree with. You know, they might be doing certain things. If I'm not, I'm not about to sit up here and put my dag on comment down, especially if I got something nasty to say. You know, that's their channel. They can do whatever they want to do. I mean, there's certain people that irritates me about certain things that they do. But, I mean, that's their channel. I might do something that irritates them. I'm going to keep doing me. You know, some people are like, Rosalind, you need to take the outro off. I mean, your intro off. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not I'm, if this is how I want to raise my channel, that's what I'm going to do. I said, all you got to do is just simply fast forward it. And it gets straight to the message. So simple. I <laughs> said, so I'm not going to sit up here and accommodate somebody else, you know. But the only thing I would change is like when y'all tell me about some of my old videos, like from last year, how certain the music, it, it can be conflicting with the message that it, you know, it takes away from the message that you're so concentrating on trying to, you know, block the, you know, the music out you don't get a chance to really hear the enjoy the message so i'm very i'm very cautious about what kind of music that i place in my videos now because if you first was with me when i first started i don't know what happened but when every time i would make videos you will hear growling in the background and i'm like i could be the only one in the house and don't know where this growling is coming from but it sounds like i'm like pissing the evil things off and it's like Ugh. and I'm just like what the heck is going on so ever since then I always put meditation music on so it cannot be heard so it is just like going through all these different things you know you're going to be that person that breaks the generational curse uh you're probably in situations where it just seems like you're never going to be able to take a break um, things are coming at you left and right. You might go through mental, emotional abuse, maybe physical abuse. You're going through these things as well. Kids are acting in, in an uproar. It just seems like nothing is able. Every, your house feels like a daggone circus. Like nothing is going to calm down. Like, are you going to get your break? Yeah, you will. But right now, you cannot lose focus on the things that you're trying to head towards. That's what darkness really wants you to do. Wants you to be able to focus on the people that are being asses towards you and being petty towards you. You know, that shows a lot about their character and less about yours. You know, now I always wondered why my dad was just like, um, if somebody said something to him or, you know, did something to him, he's so quick to forgive because that gives somebody too much energy. 
to be mad at them you know what i'm saying just going about your business that i mean some people are just being petty and some people might not admit how they said it it came out wrong or something like that you know but it's just i don't have time to be mad at anybody i don't you know i say what i have to say and then i go on about my business i just don't have time you know somebody else might feel a certain type of way but hey you, you gotta respect the game at least i said up here and was honest enough to tell you what this situation how that situation made me feel I'm going about my business and leave it alone and still be wishing you best wishes don't have time but when you know you're heading towards something and you know you are catching hell left and right left and right the universe is testing you and so is darkness you better make sure you stay on that good side that's all i'm saying <laughs> just make sure you stay on the good side don't lose focus in what you're trying to achieve that's what it wants you to do you know and it will attack you where the close the things that you hold close to your heart it will do that it's like people you thought that would never sit up here and turn their back on you is all of a sudden turning their back on you. Or you might be just, God or universe might have turned you, your back on them. It makes you feel like a, a different person or make you feel like, you know, what, what was I doing for this person to act like this? Or why are these things starting to happen now? Things are starting to reveal, especially if you ask God and universe to reveal the unseen to you. You will start seeing things for what they truly are. And be like, wow, why didn't I see this before? Because there was a lesson throughout that situation you had to be able to learn and catch the lesson at the end. You know, teachers always quiet during the test. So you're just trying to see how you're going to go about reacting to certain things that's been placed in your life. And then they're going to ask you, okay, from this situation, what did you learn? I'll wait. <laughs> that's what they're trying to tell you so keep doing what you need to do don't give up on whatever you're trying to aim so strongly for darkness is going to try to catch you slipping at each time so you got to stay woke don't keep your eyes peeled wide open wide open yeah i had to go cross the eye a little bit just for you to get drift so you know, I hope you're able to resonate <laughs> with the content of this video. If you're catching hell, I'm sending love and light, uplifting blessings towards anybody and everybody. You know, because I know we're all going, we're all getting hit in different directions. And it can be unbearable at times. So stay strong. This is almost over. So uh, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback, give me your feedback on this. Are you really catching it right now? Um, and then, you know, hit the notification bell, subscribe, drop me a line so I can give you a post notification shout out on my next video. Um, let me see who am I? Uh, Katie Strait, much love to you and Keith Bush, much love. And I will see y'all in my next video. So now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day. Love you from the bottom of my heart. And send out much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know what your kind words to help somebody go a long way. So I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.